What's up guys, I'm Rissim from rossmartech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about the jump instruction, JMP. So let's get started. Let's open up the program here. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is label. We have to create a jump label. You can name the label anything you want to name it. In this case I'm just going to call mine top. Now after you named the label, you have to uh, end it with a colon. The next thing we're going to do is uh, use the jump instruction. So the jump instruction is JMP. We're going to hit space and we're going to type in the label name. In this case it's top. We do not use the colon when we're using the jump instruction. Alright, so let me explain how this works. Now, this is the label, right? There's going to be some code here that's going to be executed first, right? Once it's finished executing the code, it's going to get to this jump part here, this jump instruction, and it's going to jump back to this label here. So then it's going to keep repeating the instruction in the middle and it's going to jump back on top, so on and so forth. So let me demonstrate it. Let's uh, print a character on the screen. Let's print character 5. So we're going to move into the DL register, the value of 5. We're going to add 48. I'm sorry, we're going to add into DL 48. So we convert it to a character 5. Now we're going to use the print character code, which is move into a h 2h, right? That's the code for print the character. Then we're going to do int 21h. Let's hit emulate again. Let's hit run. As you can see, it's keep printing 5. It's going to keep going and going and going and going. So that's pretty much it for a jump instruction. You, you name a label. You can have a jump instruction anywhere in a program. It could be on the bottom. Again, it could jump to any part of the screen. Let me demonstrate that right now. So after this jump instruction, right, let's uh, let's change this to, let's call this green, right? So we're going to jump to a label green, but we haven't created that label yet. So let's just uh, say we're going to copy some code here, right? We're going to copy some, let's just copy this code here, right? In instead of uh, five, let's print six on the screen, right? So it's six. So we're going to create another label. And this label, we're going to call green. So again, we're going to type in the label name and a colon because this is a label. So let's add some instruction under this and let's say we're going to copy this again. Alright, so let's copy this again. And let's paste it under here. And let's make this one a 7, right? So now what this is going to do, we have a top label here, right? First, it's going to execute this instruction here, right? Then it's going to jump into green. It's not going to jump back to here. It's going to jump to the green label. So it should skip this code here. It should, it should not print 6. It should skip 6 completely and jump to this green label here. So then it's going to execute this green label here, and then the program should end right there. So it should print 5 and seven. It should completely skip six because we 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 use this jump instruction and after this code is complete it's gonna print five. This jump instruction is initiated, it's gonna look for the jump label. So the jump label's all the way I'm sorry, it's gonna look for the green label. The green label is all the way over here, right? So it's gonna skip this completely. So it just should print five and seven. So let's just test it out right now. Let's hit emulate. I'm gonna hit run. Hit OK, and it printed out 5 and 7, as you can see. And then the program ended. The program ended because there is no more jump label, so there was nothing to jump to. Pretty cool, right? So again, you can jump to any spot in the, in the screen. It doesn't have to be on top. It doesn't have to be on the bottom. You could be in the bottom and jump on the top. You could be on the top and jump to the bottom. It doesn't make a difference. So that's the cool thing about this instruction. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com and thanks for watching.